I am a Nebraska native. I'm a Nebraska businessman, and I have been a volunteer for Convention of States for five years. Um, thank you for taking the time to listen to my testimony in favor of LR7. Um, I'd like to focus on one of the primary components of Convention of States that matters to me, and that is the issue of term limits that was discussed briefly here with the previous person. Um, let me begin by saying it's my contention that the majority of elected officials, though certainly none here, will never voluntarily and on their own limit either power or term. I believe our, many of our representatives in Washington, D.C. have stopped representing the people, we the people, a long time ago, and instead focused primarily on themselves and almost as soon as elected their own reelection. I believe the founders uh, could never imagine career politicians who stayed in office for decades back then. They didn't even live that long. We've had politicians that have stayed in office for 30, 40, 50 years. And I don't believe our founders ever imagined elected officials that would become wealthy in public service. As I was doing some of my own research for this, I ran across some quotes from Benjamin Franklin. And although, although our uh, Nebraska legislatures don't make a lot of money, uh, Ben Franklin had proposed that elected officials not be paid at all. He had this crazy idea that folks would become elected public servants uh, for love of country. And uh, so he would be appalled, I think, and many of our founders related to the amount of time that some of our officials spend in office, or that when they finally did leave, they could move to K Street, make millions of dollars as a lobbyist, um, this is one of the reasons why I believe the approval rating for Congress is generally under 10%. Um, for those who think that elections themselves are enough as a form of term limit, I'd simply say that when approval ratings are, are hover near 10%, the re-election of incumbents is over 85% that something must be wrong. Even in so-called wave elections, uh, incumbents are re-elected at a rate of 75% or more. Keep in mind that we manage to elect a president every four to eight years, so the presidency is term limited. Um, entrenched politicians of both parties contribute to the ongoing gridlock we see in government every single day. It's the reason why we don't seem to accomplish almost anything. But there is bipartisan, bipartisan support for term limits. Many public polls back me up on this, and if you want more evidence, consider the Cruz-Rooney amendment proposed a couple of years ago. Amazingly, Senator Cruz, President Trump, and Beto O'Rourke all agreed. Think about that. I simply say that it's my belief that term limits would allow for more civility. We could use more of that, better cooperation, and more willingness to work across the aisle for the greater good. Go to conventionofstates.com, press the button, sign the petition, more importantly, get 10 of your friends to do the same. When you sign the petition, then that sends a letter to your state legislator. You go on the list in their district as a supporter. We deliver those lists to the state legislators. It means something to them.